Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly. This channel we're talking everything Agile, Agile tools, and this is part two of app review of advanced Agile and Kanban boards by Release Management. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video, providing us this amazing app, so I can show to you guys how it works. This video we're going to talk about story mapping. What is story mapping? Let's say you want to deliver something let's say you want to deliver a website deliver youtube videos no matter what you want to know a roadmap you want to do certain releases and you want to make sure that your work is grouped so in jira we group by epics and then we also can create releases and making sure that we have enough stories in those releases so essentially if we take a matrix we would say we want to make sure that everything's in epics and then the stories also are going into the releases and then this way we can iteratively deliver software. We can say in the first release, we can deliver stories of this, this and that. In the second release, we can deliver stories of this, this and that. Iteratively deliver value in a true agile fashion. So how will we do it in Jira? Let's say we'll have a planning meeting and then we'll have versions and we'll have epics and then we'll need to move things to stories and epics. Let's say we have uh, UI page. We want to move UI page to, let's say, super epic. And then we want to also make sure that UI page goes to the first 20 videos. And then we'll go and we'll iterate over and over. This is a little cumbersome. You have to move to one, then to another. If you want to create releases and add directly to releases, you can click on releases. You can create a version. And then if you want to add things directly here, it's even more cumbersome. You click add issue, you're looking for an issue. So it takes a lot of time and it's not very user friendly, to be honest. And we know that the more complicated the process is, the more you have to do, uh, the less adoption of this process is. So our goal as agile professionals, our goal as the teams themselves is to make the process as simple as possible and the uh, visualization of the process is very important. This allows us to make sure we don't make mistakes. So advanced um, Agile Kanban boards allows us to do that. They have a story mapping board. I wanna show you how that works today. So we need to click on apps. We need to click on advanced Agile boards. Here we are in my boards. I created some boards before, but now I will create one board with you and I'll show you a couple of cool features. So we're creating a board. We will call it a story mapping board. They already have it predefined for you. So click story mapping, click next. Then you can name it. We'll say YouTube videos story mapping. And then you can choose a project. You can choose multiple ones, but I will choose my project, which is define agile YouTube videos, which is also a beauty of this. Let's say you have multiple projects and you want to plan uh, releases for multiple projects. You can do that here as well, which is very hard to endure because you have to switch between projects, not very intuitive. So this is a great feature if you are working, uh, if your projects are split, let's say by teams, that might be very useful. Uh, then you can also add JQL filter. Let's say since we are planning releases, I want to make sure that status is not done. So we don't show any done issues. Then I click create. Once I am here, I'll see a bunch of things, and but I want to make sure that um, it automatically pre-creates me versions, epics, so I'm clear what we need to do here, um, and they allow you to do just that. So if you see this screen, what you have to do is you have to go to the wheel, click on settings, you can click on columns and swim lanes, and here you can see what are your swim lanes by parent, in our case, parent is Apex, and by fixed version, and you can say automatically add existing values in here. And then you can go back to board. And as if it is magic, it uh, created for us rows and columns, our columns are fixed versions, and our rows are Apex that already have issues in them. So we are all set. If you look at the backlog I showed you before, it is the same information we present in a much better way. If I look at Jira Tutorial Sprint Planning, I know it is search related fixed version. So my release, I want to release something related to search. 
and I know that sprint planning estimation is part of it, but I also know that it is under sprint related issues in my epic. So um, I'm a little bit confused by those epics sometimes in here at the top. So I might think it's epic, but essentially it's a story. Um, if you like it this way, it is all good. It's actually cool to see what epics it is in, but I like to keep uh, focus. So what I did, I clicked on board settings before, then go to card layout and I just remove the header. This is my personal preference. You guys don't have to follow that, but here I see, okay, story, 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 story. So I'm all good. Then I go, okay, I have my last batch release. I can move them around if I want, which is very useful. So first I wanna have my first 20 videos that I wanna talk about search related. Then I wanna talk about last batch. And if I am not concerned about other two for now, I can just do this. And uh, there's more, more uh, real estate on my screen right now. So here I have other issues, issues that are not yet planned. So, and those are issues that are already planned. So others means it does not have an epic yet, but it's still in the first 20 videos. So I might look at it and say, okay, guys, we have an issue without an epic and we discuss that we need to have an epic. So how to create report in Jira? Where does this go? And let's say maybe it is uh, dashboard related. So we're gonna go and put it in a dashboard related and it automatically puts this in the epic. So you see dashboard late epic appeared. And then remember how many clicks we had to do? We had to expand epics in a backlog on versions. Uh, if I wanna move something, let's try doing it here. So for example, how to delete subtask in Jira. So let's say we wanna, we see that we wanna do it as a first 20 video. So we'll make sure that it is a uh, workflow related. So we just put it here and it automatically assigned it to a fixed version, first 20 videos, and it automatically assigned it to work, uh, workflow related issues. So it's very easy to do, just drag and drop. It allows us to do things much more efficiently. This way we meet as a team, we go through all the other things we see here and we move them and we move them. So we always move them to a different releases. Wanna, let's say move something to last batch, we say, okay, uh, this deal with microphone, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Let's move it to the last batch and let's not assign to Epic yet. I don't know where it goes. So it automatically assigned to last batch release. This way as a team, we can pre-plan our releases ahead and we can make sure that they all are in certain Epics. We have some information here. So I know that my workflow related issues, uh, workflow related Epic has two issues. If we don't want to see statistics, we can just turn it off. There's also a cool thing I showed you before called dependencies. Uh, you can see which one depends on another. So we see, okay, we have a UI page and this UI page depends on login page, not ready yet. So we might say, okay, then we really need to put this login page in the, our first 20 videos uh, to make sure that uh, we can complete it. So we put it here and then uh, we see that, okay, the, these are on the same release, it makes complete sense. Or we see that maybe we need to do uh, test 33 before we do deal with microphone. So I need to move test 33 in my upper release, otherwise, well, it won't work because it is blocked. So we move test 33 to let's say search related issues. See the visibility here in it is amazing. You can see everything in a glance. And if you don't want to see it, you can just uncheck it and you don't see it. This is very important because it allows us to have one source of truth. You can go to this Kanban board, see how things are progressing, see if we need to add something more. You can use it in your planning, you can use it in your grooming sessions. So it is uh, very, very efficient and it saves you lots of time because you don't have to click on many, many things. Please guys check it out. I will leave link up top and in the description. So you guys check it out, this amazing add-on. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. Uh, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. Let's spread it to more and more people and share this um, amazing tool to more and more people. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next one. Bye-bye.